Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your August 8th through the 31st love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This is for Aquarius. August 8th through the 31st. Perhaps somebody ha is in your life or, or is going to enter your life that might cause you to feel a little cautious, but you could be connected that, to them um, divinely, okay? So just pay, take heed that you may be very, very connected to them. Um, I'm going to have to get my cat in. We'll see what will fit if I don't. So, um, as I was saying, that somebody may be in your life. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or they could be coming in. That you are feeling a little cautious about. It looks like you're feeling a little cautious about them. Um, yeah, and this right here is a union of some sort. So, we'll get more on this. This is a new beginning of prosperity, security, and abundance. So it's a raw opportunity to build something new that is stable and secure. It's also a raw opportunity to manifest something. Here we have the devil. This is um, something to do with uh, obsessions, manipulations, and desires. Here we have, this is happiness, contentment, this is overindulgence, this is a new beginning, and this is um, hard work, okay? This is you, this is envisioning all that you have done um, and created on your own. So let's, let's narrow this down a little bit here. Here we have somebody right around the 8th that looks like that is, they're either in your life or they're coming in. Um, and it's a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but you're feeling cautious. But I don't know why you're feeling cautious, because it feels like you may be soulfully connected with these two cards, you know. And the universe, or God, or your higher power is offering you the ability to build a foundation a st of stability and security with this person. And we have Capricorn on both ends. So, I mean, it could definitely be with a Capricorn, but it could also be with a Taurus or Virgo. We also have a Sagittarius here. Um, so, down here we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is about envisioning all that you have created. And you may be scared. Looks like you may be scared of them taking... Your, your goods or something like that you know it looks like there's something here that you're worried about and it has to do with your possessions that's what I think that is um, here it looks like you are about ready to let go you're about ready to fly you're gonna do something you're gonna start over perhaps um, after a time of an overindulgence maybe you have been um, Maybe you've been going overboard on a few in a few areas of your life. Now, overindulgence can happen in many different areas. Can be shopping, could be eating, could be alcohol, could be drugs. But maybe you've been going overboard, and you're feeling the need to start over again, to to start over, to bring your vibrancy back, and to bring your health back, and to um, shine. So, 
towards the beginning of this reading right around the 8th it looks like we it looks like we have this person in your life probably an earth sign or somebody that has a little earth in your chart that you're fe feeling pretty weary about you know you're not too sure about them perhaps you're wondering if they're after you just for your goods you know your money or your your tangible possessions okay um that's towards the beginning of August and then it moves on you know towards um, you deciding you know what this is I love this person you know I do I love this person they complete me I'm gonna try to start over I'm gonna try to start fresh with them you know we're gonna try to balance this out we're gonna I'm gonna try to do things a little bit more moderately you know, um, we're going to try to build a new found. We're starting over here. We're going to start over. We're going to build a new foundation. We're going to, you know, we have this opportunity to start over and um, be stable and secure together. And it can lead to a lot of happiness. And I think that's that's where you're at. Um, there's a deep bond anyway. There's a deep bond here between you and another person. And I think that it's you and another person doing this together. If not, um, this is you have been feeding your desires, okay? That's what this is. You've been feeding your desires. And now you have to balance things out. Um, I'm going to get some more cards. Wow. Okay. So we have a lot of major arcana here. Okay. And the thing is, is with these cards, with all these majors, it's very karmic. Okay. It's very universally driven. Everything that's been going on, and especially this month, is part of the karmic plan. It's part of a karmic debt that you owe. Okay. Because of all these you know, these uh, major cards. Um, there's something going on behind the scenes. Okay, definitely something going on. There's hidden forces. There's like some secrets somewhere. Uh, there's definitely some overindulgence, probably some addictions that have been fed. Um, and I don't know if that's you or the other person, but it looks like you want to start over. Okay, you want to bring your health back. Um, and you're going to. It looks like you're about to start a major transformation after a time of recuperation. It looks like you do need to recuperate. You need to reevaluate your life. You need to reevaluate your dreams. You need to re. You need to heal. Okay. You really need to re reevaluate and rejuvenate. Okay. That's what this card says, and it might take some time. Okay, because it looks like that it is time for you to start a major life change okay this is a transformation to get through it um the fact this is like the lost sense of self okay it is and I think that you have buried your emotions in some kind of addictions now addictions can be anything food spending gambling drugs alcohol I do I think that you have buried your emotions in something and it has affected your soulmate union it has it really really has so you know this this soulmate union is affected because of this I think there's some kind of addictions here okay and some of you may not like to hear this but I think there is some addictions now there's um, thousands of addictions in the world or hundreds or whatever you want to call it and so um, just keep that in mind um, there's some negativity up here too there's some negative thoughts over lies and deceit and cheating. You know, perhaps you feel like your your soul may lied and cheated on you, you know, and that's one of the reasons why you have chosen the to overindulge, you know. That's painful shit. So, you know, but now I feel like you really, really want to heal. I think you're ready to blossom again. You're ready to feel vibrant and you're looking to bring your ha the happiness back into you to your life
Here we have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, <laughs> and here we have, this is the Eight of Cups. This is somebody slipping away, sneaking away, being sneaky, and just like going away, doing something behind your back. And it's kind of like um, unseen, but it happened anyway. Okay, so, um, and this is secrets. You know, it feels like, you know, things have kind of, maybe they've gotten a little out of control and, and you just, you're slipping away. That's what it feels like. It's like you're slipping away and you need to, it's time for a major transformation. The universe wants you to have a major transformation. <clears throat> this is about having willpower, discipline, courage, and confidence. Okay, so this is about healing. This is about reevaluate and rejuvenate, okay? So, and recuperation, all right? So you go into a period of time, maybe it takes, I don't know, four days or whatever. You go into a period of time where you figure, you know what, I'm going to work on me, I'm going to heal. I'm going to heal for these four days. And you really take four days to do that. And so the first thing you do is you get there and you reevaluate your life, okay? Then you um, you reevaluate it. Then you start to recuperate, you know, by heal by whatever you do to recuperate. Even if it's you know meditating or sleeping or releasing or whatever you got to do. And then you you rejuvenate your power, you know, so that you can start your new journey. <laughs> So that you can actually fly, because you're definitely starting a new major life journey. There's no doubt about it with these two cards, okay? But it is going to take discipline, willpower, courage, and confidence to do that, okay? You might have to leave somebody behind to take care of yourself, okay? You might have to leave somebody behind for just a little while, I don't know, to take care of yourself, now this is intended to be a love reading. This reading is obviously meant for somebody. It may not, may or may not resonate with all of you. So I do see that somebody has some work to do on themselves, and that you know I don't see a lot of love right here. I see that somebody has a lot of work to do on themselves. You know, and this is when you finally get recognized for all your hard work. Okay, this is the six of wands. This is when you bring back your nobility you bring back your respect you bring back your honor okay this is what this is this is the six of wands this is where you start to gain respect again for yourself and from others because you've done all this you really need to go into a time of meditation to reevaluate where you're going and what you're doing and how you are overcompensating or overindulging. So that's the message for this reading so far is that you need to reevaluate. Okay? You need to reevaluate so that you can bring back your vibrancy and your happiness so that your soulmate can come in. Right now, your negative thoughts are impacting this from coming in. Here we got the fool again right next to each other too. You're about to start a new journey, Aquarius. A new journey. This is great. And you know, you have to replace fear with faith. This is not knowing what's going to happen. This is taking a risk. Okay? This is telling you, and you have it twice, that it's time to take a risk. And do something that you are not comfortable with. Okay? If it, if it involves bringing your... Uh, sunshine back then you, get, you know you're gonna have to have confidence willpower um, discipline and courage and you will be respected for it and, that, and most of all you will respect yourself now right over the soulmate love is this offer of love 
This is love coming in. Okay? This is love that wants to come in. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay? We also have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. We have Capricorn twice. We have Scorpio twice. Um, I consider the full Aries. So I would say we have Aries twice. Twice We have Sagittarius. We have Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. We have Pisces. So we have, we have a lot of signs here. I think these are more about energies for you. Okay? Because I think you have to work on yourself. I think it's time for you to start a new journey. And it's going to be risky. And it's going to be scary. And you're going to have to re replace fear with faith and trust. And, and um, let go of what is unknown. And just not worry about it. Because once you do that. You know, maybe when you start to take your new journey, new love really shows up. And this is new love. This is new love. I don't see anybody from the past here. I see this as new love. Okay, if you're already in a relationship, then this is a... Um, I'm trying to think of the word. Step up. You know what I mean? A step up. Because you gain respect. You gain respect by by um, gaining willpower, strength, and courage. Willpower, discipline, and courage, and confidence. You gain respect. <coughs> There's, it's going to take work. Okay, there, it is going to take some work to um, bring your health back and to bring your shine back, bring your glow back. It's going to take a little bit of work on your part. Okay. I see. I mean, one of the, one of the uh, meanings of the moon is a lost sense of self. Okay. And I clearly see that. I see that you have been slipping away. You've lost your sense of self. Perhaps you've been <clears throat> concentrating on somebody that's not here, that's not in the picture, you know, and you've just been waiting for them to show up, waiting for them to show up, and because you think they're your soulmate, and so you've been overindulging in luxuries, you know, or whatever it is, um, and you've just totally lost your sense of self. But I think it's time for you to reevaluate. Um, release, rejuvenate, and whatever the word or other one was, but I think it's time for you to um, heal. You need to go in and heal and to really fix yourself up. You need to bring back your self-respect. You do. Whatever loss you're going through, you're going, th you're going through a loss. I can see that, which has caused you to lose your sense of self. You know, whatever loss you're going through, it's You've worked hard on it so far. You have. You've worked hard on getting over it. And that's what's caused you to lose your sense of self. Um, there is light at the end. Okay. There is happiness in this reading. Happiness is attainable. All right. It's time to start over. That's what I see. Right from scratch. It's time to start over from scratch. You know, maybe you need to... I don't know. You need to accept help from others, okay? Accept love from others, okay? Accept, accept emotional support from others. It doesn't have to be a love interest. But I see that you need some emotional support from others. Accept it. Don't be afraid to ask for it. It doesn't have to be a love interest. It can be anybody. I, I think you need some emotional support. Balance. Yeah, you do. Oh... Balance. This is the overindulgence card again. The need for balance and moderation. Cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. This is the temperance card. There, It is a time for you to balance. The, the need for balance and moderation in your life. You're going to need time 
out. You're going to need a time out to just go within to heal. And I don't know if you need to go somewhere to heal or if you can do it at home or what. But it is a time for you to heal and to start your path over. Okay? Four of Wands. Contentment, peace, and abundance. A happy home life. The successful completion of a project. After you heal, that's when the soulmate comes in. And love. Contentment, peace, and abundance. And respect. So there's steps that need to be taken. All right? You might meet your love while you're healing. Wherever you go to heal or what what not. Whatever you do to heal, I'm thinking because this is a gathering as well. You might meet your if you haven't met them already, okay? You might meet this new person at some gathering, you know, where you're going to heal yourself. They don't need to know that, but I'm just saying. Um Two of Pentacles. Too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. There is too much going on at once. <clears throat> definitely. There's definitely too much going on at once. It looks like that things are a disarray. Things are disorganized. I think that your thoughts are probably all over the place. Um, you definitely need to take some time. You need to take some time to recuperate. And to bring back your shine. Okay? Let's see if we can get anything from the Angel Romance cards for you, Aquarius. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Flirt. That's a good one, huh? Have you not been doing that? Have you been feeling really down? It looks like it. It looks like you've been feeling really down. And this is saying that you need to you need to pick me up. You do. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Mm. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I don't know what that means for you. Whenever I see this card, I'm like, what the hell? So, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. That must resonate with somebody. Maybe that's one of the reasons why you've lost your sense of self. Because of your upbringing. It doesn't have to be religious upbringing. It can be upbringing, just your plain old upbringing. In your path, you know, you've lost your sense of self. Because people have influenced you so much. You know, and you've forgotten who you are. It's time to bring back your shine. It is. It's time to, to bring back your shine. You might need to seek help to do that. You know what I mean? I do. I think you might need to seek some some help to bring back your um your shine. <laughs> Remember I said your soulmate earlier? I see this is what's happening. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. It's true. It's true. But any negative thoughts will hinder this because you have to think positive for your visualizations to work, really. Okay? So, whatever's going on up here, if you think that he, this person is never coming, don't think, change that up. Okay? If you think you're going to be lied to and deceived, you have to let that go because that's a negative visualization. So this is telling you to visualize positively, okay? Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This person that is either with you now or is coming in is your soulmate, that's for sure. In this other deck um, right here, you know, they're bound. They're bound together. And this is a soulmate too. This person that's coming in is absolutely your soulmate. I'm sure of it. Well, I'm not sure of it, but I think so. Um, so, I have one more card I'm going to give to you from my new deck. 
Vintage Wisdom Oracle. And I'm going to have to read from the book because I can't remember them all. I don't know them all yet. But I want to let you know this may or may not resonate with all of you because, you know, we're all different. And I'm sure this is not going to resonate with a lot um, just because it's such a strong message. And I think that, you know, a lot of you probably, I don't know, I, I'd be interested to hear. I do think there's somebody has a lot of work to do. And um, I'll be interested to see who who steps up and says, it's me. Um, interesting. What do you have for Aquarius? August 8th through the 15th. I mean, 8th through the 31st. I'm sorry. 8th through the 31st. I see that you're going to be getting some of your self-respect back. So congratulations. And you get that back from healing yourself. You get that back from your own self-discipline, your own willpower, your courage, and your confidence. You bring your self-respect back. And that causes other people to respect you more as well. We're going to go with this one. Compassion. Compassion. I want to make sure you can see that all right. Compassion. This crestfallen elemental has given up the fight. Boy, is that perfect for you or what? Has given up the fight and does not know where to turn. Her naked form is cold and world weary and she, is, and she no longer has the strength to deny her vulnerability or hide away from prying eyes. The dewy moss of the woodland floor provides a soft cushion to rest while she gathers her thoughts and prays for warmth and direction. Thank you, Lord, angel, spirits, and universe for this message. I just said that. At the misty, as the misty dawn breaks, a new pathway is gradually flooded with golden light, offering a clear route out of the glade. The spirit of compassion hovers above. As an end path, she feels the weight carried by the weary stranger, and her gaze remains soft, non-judgmental, and patient. It is only when the elemental looks heavenward for answers that the spirit of compassion can reveal herself and point the way. Like I said, you need to ask for help. Wow. The presence of this card indicates that now is a favorable time to view the world through the healing properties of compassion. Be especially aware of any strong judgments and expectations carried by you or others, which may be freezing your ability to connect with an open heart. Practice extending sincere, unconditional love and caring to those around you, and face any problems you encounter with a sincere wish to alleviate suffering. Look heavenward for guidance and open your heart to the warm rays of compassion. Wow. So, Aquarius, that is all I have for you. Um, I don't even know what else to say. Um, I will talk to you soon.